In this quick video guide, I want to show you how you can use an AutoCAD drawing imported into QCAD, which is an alternative to AutoCAD, which is cheaper. And also you have a free trial before you, you can actually buy the professional version. Now, we already created another video concerning the download and installation of QCAD trial version. And also you can see here that it's... Um, it's a pretty cheap, low-cost application. Well, it's cheaper than AutoCAD, but it's also, you can see here, like a little bit old-fashioned. It's looking like the old-fashioned AutoCAD of a few years ago. Now, let me activate here the grid. So, um, essentially, all we need to do when we want to proceed our work here in AutoCAD, for example, we receive a file in AutoCAD from a colleague or from a client, and we want to... We don't have AutoCAD and we want to use another alternative like QCAD or other CAD alternatives, we can just save the file or request the file to be saved in DXF format or DWG. You can also try DWG format, but it's better to save it in DXF. So right now I'm just saving this in, in DXF file, which is drawing exchange format. The name will be project. I'm going to save it. Now, this one here is in Italian, but don't worry because it's so simple. And if you want, you, you will find an entire video course in AutoCAD in English in our channel. Also, you can ask for assistance and questions uh, also in the comments below. Okay, also you can give suggestions if you want to the community of the channel in the comments below. So once we do that, we just go here, file and go to open. And let's go and select. You can see here I can use either the XF or the WGs, but it is also SVG, which is um, uh, vector graphics, scalable vector graphics. Well, essentially what we do in AutoCAD is uh, computer-aided design, and what we basically do is create vector graphics, uh, so drawings that are actually vector graphics, and sometimes you can use this also for graphic design. Now. Usually you use this for architecture, engineering, industrial design, but sometimes you can also use it for graphic design and things like that. And when you do that, usually you will use the SVG format. Okay, this is the project, the XF. So I'm just going to hit on open. I'm just going to wait a few seconds and there you go. So everything that is visible here will be connected. Sorry, will be imported and you can see down up here on the right the layer list which is the same that we have here in AutoCAD so we have layers that will help us to manage our project to organize it different colors different uh, line weights and so on now again everything will be explained in the AutoCAD video course if you go in the channel and look for the playlist for that video course and right here you can see we, we have layers so I can turn them on and off so you have something off here like the reference now this was the reference image that I've used in the video course to vectorize or let's say retrace all the drawing here so I started with a simple image really uh, awful image with pixels but also with a lot of mistakes and then clean it up and turn it into vector graphics so this process is called tracing or vector uh, vectorizing and there you go now we find the same exact situation here the same exact layers and we can continue from here you can see that you have the exact same color and also here in uh, QCAD you have similar tools that you have in AutoCAD just uh, the difference is that they look a little bit different here in the representation but they're pretty sometimes they are like identical so it's, again, it's like um, using an AutoCAD of a few versions ago. So if you want the top, the best in the market, probably you should go for AutoCAD. But if you want, a, let's say, low-cost alternative, still uh, completely functional and with a nice interface, here you have panels and everything is well organized and displayed, you can go for QCAD. Now you also have other alternatives, so if you want to know more, about other CAD application, you should check the playlist in the channel called CAD and Beam software.
but also please check our other video courses and video guides in the channel. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and stay updated. And if you want to give us a little bit of support, you can join the channel as a supporter. And again, write your comments, write your questions, suggestions, anything that can be useful to the community. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.